Hello everyone, my name is Josh Davis of Major Oak Heritage Services. Today I'm going to talk to you about photography. So the camera that we like to use is the Nikon D3500. It's a 24 megapixel camera. Uh, it's considered an entry level DSLR. It comes, well, we use an 18 to 55 mil lens. Um, the ISO range on this is 100 to 25,600. Uh, which means that obviously the lower the number, the less sensitivity your camera is to light, uh, which means by having it set to a higher number, you can use your camera in dark situations, which is very handy when you go into rock shelters and things. Um, it is capable of doing 1080 to 60p video recording, so full HD. Um, a very interesting and handy capability is uh, the Bluetooth enabled for, uh, for image transfer to your phone. Uh, it's a good way of backing up your images while you're out in the field, but also uh, for those that you take photos for marketing purposes and things like that, you can straight away transfer it to your phone and upload it to uh, your business accounts and things like that. Uh, tips and tricks. So first of all, the main thing I can say is go outside and practice. Um, although this camera itself comes with a guide mode, which you see there, uh, we recommend that you actually go outside, different lighting situations, try the camera settings, play around with the ISO, and learn how your camera works. Um, regarding photo scales, so uh, we use Plasticard photo scales. Um, we find these a lot better than using cardboard or paper that's been laminated because no matter what, I end up putting these in my pocket or my back pocket and I sit down or I bend it and it gets crushed and it becomes useless. Also, when you're up north and it's a bit windy, these don't fly off. It's, they're really handy to use. Uh, that being said, if you don't have a photo scale, you can always use a set of calipers. You can use your uh, a scale ruler, a ruler, whatever you've got handy, you can use basically. Um, taking shots of artifacts. So the key thing is to make sure that the image is square. So do not have your photo scale wonky like this. What you want is an image like this. When you are taking photos for your report, site shots, things like that, please do not rotate the camera from this to this, because when it comes to creating the report, you're gonna have images of different shapes. Uh, one being portrait, one being landscape. It's not ideal and it makes the report look a bit unprofessional. So uh, make sure that you stick with the one and do not change. Um, apart from that, just, Go outside, give it a go, and I hope these tips have been useful. Thank you.